Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On December 2nd, the United States took action again and announced a new semiconductor export control measure against China, involving 136 Chinese-related entities being included in that entity list. This move will undoubtedly further intensify the technological competition between China and the United States and have a significant impact on China's semiconductor industry. In response to the continuous pressure from the United States, China responded quickly and launched two measures of countermeasures. At the same time, the four major internet associations also issued statements in protest, once again demonstrating to the world China's firm determination and strong strength. The United States regulates Chinese semiconductors, bringing the total to 140, including 136 Chinese companies and four overseas companies closely related to them. Among these companies, more than 100 focus on the manufacturing of semiconductor equipment and tools. The production of semiconductor equipment and tools sets very high standards for technology and workmanship. These companies usually occupy a core position in the industry, and their products and technologies directly affect the operation and development of the semiconductor industry chain. Take some representative companies as an example. They have invested a lot of manpower, material and financial resources in the R&D and production of semiconductor equipment. Through continuous innovation and improvement, we strive to improve product performance and quality to meet the market's urgent demand for high-performance semiconductor equipment. In the field of tool production, these companies rely on excellent craftsmanship and cutting-edge technology to create a series of high-precision and high-reliability tools, providing solid support for the semiconductor manufacturing process. Judging from the development trend of the overall industry, the existence of more than 100 semiconductor equipment and tool manufacturers not only shows the prosperity and fierce competition in this field, but also indicates that there is huge potential in technological innovation and market expansion in the future. Potential and Opportunity China cuts off supplies of critical materials to the United States. On December 3, China issued an important notice and decided to strengthen export controls on dual-use items to the United States. This first step can be described as a precise strike, directly ending the United States' dependence on these critical materials. The specific content of the announcement is as follows. These materials are definitely not ordinary mineral resources. They play an irreplaceable key role in many important fields, such as military high technology and semiconductor manufacturing. As an important component of semiconductor materials, gallium has a wide range of applications. In the field of integrated circuits, gallium is a key guarantee for improving performance and stability in fields such as optoelectronic devices. The application of gallium has significantly promoted the continuous progress of technology. Germanium is a rare material that plays a key role in the development of high-tech fields such as infrared optics and optical fiber communications. Due to its unique physical and chemical properties, germanium is almost impossible to be replaced by other materials in these fields. Antimony is mainly used in fields such as semiconductor materials and flame retardants. Among semiconductor materials, antimony can significantly improve electrical properties and in terms of flame retardants, its flame retardant effect is also excellent. 
Graphite is a non-metallic material with superior performance, which provides strong support for the manufacturing of high-quality semiconductor devices in semiconductor production. In addition, in the field of new energy, graphite is also widely used in battery production and other aspects. China's action can be said to be precise and powerful, directly hitting the seven inches of the United States. The United States has long been trying to consolidate and ensure its dominant position in the global technology chain by controlling the supply channels and quantities of these resources to achieve its hegemonic ambitions. Today, the decisive countermeasures taken by China have undoubtedly caused the complete failure of the carefully planned plan of the United States. From a historical development perspective, international competition for resources and technology has never stopped. In the past, some countries used their own advantages to impose resource and technology blockades and restrictions on other countries. However, in the face of today's huge trend of globalization, fair, just an open cooperation has become the mainstream. China's response this time is not only a strong defense of its own rights and interests, but also a clear signal to the world. Any attempt to gain advantage through improper means will be resolutely counterattacked. In addition to precision strikes, China also adopted the second move strategic counterattack. This move is not only a response to the US control measures, but also an important step for China to gain a say in the global industrial chain. This statement reflects the authority of Chinese law and sends a clear message to the world. China is no longer a country that passively withstands external pressure, but a powerful country that dares to fight for a say in the global industrial chain. The cleverness of this move is that it is not only a countermeasure, but also a proactive attack at a strategic level. Through this strategy, China not only makes the United States feel difficulties, but also makes the world aware of China's determination and strength. In the future global industrial chain, China will no longer be a country that can only passively accept rules, but an important participant with the ability to formulate and adjust rules. In the future development process, China's semiconductor industry will continue to strengthen technological innovation and talent training and continue to improve its competitiveness and influence. At the same time, China will also actively seek cooperation and exchanges with other countries and regions to jointly promote the prosperity of the global semiconductor industry.